Hey guys, Jason Sheeran here with Home Loans Inc. Here to talk to you about VA appraisal system and understanding what happens step by step if the VA appraisal comes in low. A little bit about me, I'm a mortgage broker. Um, I own Home Loans Inc. I was in the Navy for 20 years. I'm licensed in West Virginia, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, Alabama, in case you got a referral there. And if you have a referral someplace else, I'll get you a great person. And a little fun fact about me is I'm a certified barbecue judge. Uh, production, I'm 65% VA. I average about 30 units a month. I've written and published three mortgage books, VA Mortgage Declassified, I Hate Renting, and Mortgages for Realtors. And I've been interviewed by several national mortgage magazines, including Money.com, National Mortgage Professionals, and Housing Wire. So, oh no, the appraisal came in low. Tidewater, appraiser said Tidewater. I don't think he's talking about Virginia Beach. Um, Tidewater notification is the thing that the appraiser is required to use for a VA loan if he or she believes the value is going to come in low compared to the sales contract. Um, at this point, there's not a value. So you're not going to know what the what the value is at this point because there is no value. It's the VA appraiser giving us the opportunity, the veteran or the, the real estate professionals, the loan officer, the realtors, the opportunity to try to make sure that the appraisal comes in where we want it to. So at this point, we have 72 hours to get three comparable properties to the appraiser to make sure that he included those in his consideration. Now that doesn't mean he has to have used those as a comparable property. He may have better comparables um, than what we submit, but he still has to take a look at them and annotate why he did not use them if he chose not to. So let's say the Tidewater process happens and the value is still low. And to be honest with you, that's probably what's gonna happen. I very rarely fought a tie on tide water and got the pre and got it to come in at value, just being honest with you. At next step, if you choose to, you can do what's called a reconsideration of value. And that's where you send me, do it, I do it for you, but you the veteran or you the loan officer learning while you're watching this can send to the regional loan center of the VA, wherever you're at, for me it's Atlanta, um, send to the regional loan center three three comps, could be the same three we used, Maybe there's a new cop that closed after the appraisal was done. Uh, we send the cops in a grid-like fashion, and I'll show you that here in a moment, along with a letter from the veteran. So the veteran writes, you know, types up a letter saying what he thinks the house is worth or she and why and, you know, what was wrong with the appraisal. Maybe it's the wrong number of bathrooms, maybe wrong square footage, maybe, um, maybe the appraiser used comps inside the neighborhood that were too old and he could have used a pre comps from the next neighborhood over that were closed last month. I've had, I've had to do that before. So there's a number of reasons why um, you do that. So either you, you go do that, you send that to the regional loan center, takes about five business days right now as in 2021. And then the VA will come back with a new value or possibly a new value. Now I've done this dozens of times and all but two times the value has come in um, at the requested value from the veteran. Doesn't promise you it's gonna happen, but it happens very frequently. I have a lot more luck on an ROV than I do on Tidewater. So let's say it still comes in low. Um, what do you do now? So you have three options, pay the difference, walk away, or renegotiate the price down. So here's the grid example. Um, and if you ever want this, email me and I'll shoot you over the PDF of this for you. But basically, what's going to happen is this: they, the real estate agents are going to collaborate to do this. They're going to get comparable one, comparable two, comparable three, but address, subdivision, proximity, uh, sales price, price per square foot, all that kind of stuff. Um, here's the second part of the grid: um, quality, construction, age, condition, bedrooms, bathrooms, square footage, heating, cooling, fireplace, fence, pool, kitchen equipment, all that kind of stuff. Then they'll sign it. And then we'll submit this as part of the ROV package. Now, I get asked this almost every day, especially with the market that we're in right now. Can the veteran pay over the praise value? Yes. Such a myth. So much bad information out there. Yes, the veteran can pay over. As a matter of fact, last month I had a veteran named Robert that paid $70,000 over praise value because he had to have that house for his wife. Um, I advised him not to, but he did anyway. And we closed the deal. VA escape clause. So there's a lot of confusion on this. So I want to talk about VA escape clause. All VA loans require a VA escape clause. 
doesn't matter what the appraised value is, all loans have to have this. It basically allows a veteran to back out of the contract if it, the appraisal comes in low. Now, the veteran does not have to exercise this clause. So the veteran signed this, the seller signed this, this is in the file. The appraisal comes in low, even after Tidewater and ROV, the veteran still wants to pay over appraised value for the house. I don't blame him for doing it. He can choose that. He can just write another letter, I understand, or sign a letter that we'd send. I understand that I'm paying over appraised value for this property. No big deal. All good. So reminder, states I'm licensed in, Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, in case you've got somebody in there. My contact information here, jason.homeloansinc.com. 843 low rates my phone number if you go ahead and like that subscribe um, i'd greatly appreciate it because i'm going to get a lot more educational uh, videos coming out to you thanks have a great day bye